Welcome friends to the channel. After getting numerous of inquiries about Bachelor of Architecture, I have come up with this very special video for you. What after architecture? Generally, this question ke baad, a 12th class ke student ka sirf itna answer hota hai ki architect ya to building design kar sakta hai ya fir building ke naksha design kar sakta hai. But by the next 10 minutes, you will come to know more than 20 types of fields and career where can architect work upon. So this video is totally related to students of 12th class who want to build their career in architecture and the students who are pursuing architecture. Ek aur baat, generally mere career counseling session ke dauran students aur parents ki ek regular inquiry rehti hai ki architecture ke baad salaries ya income kitni hoti hai. Ho sakta hai aapke mind mein bhi abhi yahi doubt ho. So through this video I will surely try to clear this doubt in the end. So please watch the video till end. Before moving ahead let me tell you that what we will cover in this video. First, we will cover the various private sector options after architecture. Second, the various government sector options. Third, the self-employment or your own business. Fourth one would be higher studies or higher education. And fifth will be very special point for 12th class students. That is skills requirement, eligibility criteria and entrance exam to get the admission in architecture. Sixth one will be very special point again for 12th class students that is how to select a perfect architecture college and last but not the least salaries or income after architecture. So let's start with the first point that is private sector options. An architect can join construction industry, real estate industry, architecture design firm, interior designing firm, furniture industry, automobile industry, lightning industry, banking industry, colleges and universities for teaching option. Yes, all these industries are really open for you as great career after architecture. And the list of connected profile to these industries are given in the description section. Apart from having the capabilities to design a wide range of residential building, an architect can also design recreational building too that include sport complex, sport stadiums, theater and cinemas. Commercial building like shopping mall, shopping complex, retail stores. Institutional building like school, colleges, universities and large campus. Public building like court, museum, banks, hospitals and transportation project like airports, bus terminals and railway station. An architect has also the capability to handle interiors, landscape and amusement parks. So let's move to the second point that is government sector options. An architect can join state and center, union public service commission, public work department, archaeological department, defense ministry, railway ministry, national building organization, town and country planning corporation, urban planning and development authority and many more. So these were government sector options after architecture. The next option is self-employment business. After getting a license from council of architecture and some professional experience, an architect can start his or her construction company, interior designing firm, architecture consulting firm. Now the time for higher education. Agar aap architecture ke baad aur jyada architecture research mein jana chahte hain to aap master of architecture bhi kar sakte hain ya fir master of planning, master of sustainable architecture, master of real estate and urban infrastructure, master of urban design, master of environment, master of product design, master of rural development, master of architectural studies ya fir aap MBA bhi kar sakte hain. These courses will provide you a platform to get a rich blend of managerial, technical and research competencies. Now come to the fifth point that is skills required, eligibility criteria and entrance exam. Friends, a architect is the one who can building ko banne se pehle dekh sake aur dusre ko dikha bhi sake. Also, your final product is not going to be kept in a room or gallery. It would be open to all to watch. So before entering into a good architecture college, you have to be good in drawing, sketching, analytical skills, geometry, basic knowledge of computers, creativity, visualization and observation. Apart from these skills, you must have physics, chemistry and math subjects in 12th class with aggregate of at least 50%. Iske saath saath, aapko ek achhe architecture college mein admission lene se pehle, ek national level ka architecture exam bhi clear karna hoga. And the detail of these exams are given on the screen. Now come to the selection of the college. Friends, you have to be very cautious while selecting a perfect architecture college for you. Friends, architecture is a practical field. Ek architecture student ka college life mein book se zyada time laptop or model making par nikalta hai. 
So apart from having good teachers and professor, a good architecture college must have good design studios and facilities for learning latest architecture and digital drafting softwares. I will recommend that you should physically visit our architecture college and check its studios, model making workshop and facilities for digital drafting software before taking the admission. In the end, as I promised to you, it's time for salaries and income in architecture. For this, we have a principal from Gateway College of Architecture and Design with us. Let us hear his expert advice, especially for income and salaries. If a student has devoted all his time learning the professional skills and the knowledge all during his stay of five years with all sincerity and passion, I don't think there is any reason to be worried about the prospects of job or its salary. Initially, the student might start with a modest salary of three to four lakhs per annum, but this graph of the salary goes very steep and rises very steep as you gain more and more experience. And after a period of let's say about five years, you, your salary might be about anything ranging from six to eight lakhs per annum. There is tremendous potential in this profession and there are plenty of job opportunities all across the globe and our students are very gainfully employed in all the countries like the United States, Japan and Canada. I wish you good luck and hope you will be a good citizen and a good professional to serve the society for a meaningful existence. I think your salary doubt has been clear. These are few professional options after architecture. I try to touch all the points which are really beneficial for an architecture student and have the knowledge of different career options after architecture so that they can choose best out of them. I hope I have cleared all the doubts and answered all the queries. If you still have more doubt or queries or suggestion, you can comment on this video or you can write to me at mohit at the rate gateway.edu.in. Please like, share and comment on this video and subscribe the channel for more videos. This is Mohit Bansal. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.